Hey YouTube guys and YouTube gals, it's me, Magnum, over at Guns and Cars with two Z's, if you please. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about navigation and how it has evolved over the years. If we want to step back to the 1950s, in those days, families typically took an annual vacation most of them by car because airfare was too expensive for most middle class families. So they would maybe go, you know, to grandma and grandpa's or maybe go across country uh, on a long road trip. In those days, in order to get from point A to point B, the procedure was typically pack up the car, get ready to go, head to the gas station, check all the air in the tires, check the oil, wash the windshield, and the attendants usually did that for you. And then go inside and pick up some state highway maps. Now keep in mind this was before the days of the internet. Those maps uh, were typically used to find your directions, the highways that you wanted to go, on to get from where you were to where you were going. So typically dad would get behind the wheel and drive the car because dads are great drivers and mom would sit in the passenger seat and look at the map and tell dad where to go because moms are good at that. So time marched on and while we weren't paying attention our method of navigation suddenly changed all at once, we realized. Uh, no longer were those maps necessary because we could go to the internet, go to MapQuest or Google Maps and type in our origin point and our destination point and the computer would tell us exactly turn by turn where we needed to go, how far it was, how much gas it would take, how long it would take to get there. Automobile manufacturers realized that this was a pretty good feature that they might want to build into their automobiles. So at some point navigation systems developed and were installed in automobiles. I have one in the Mustang. It's made by Microsoft and it's called the Sync System and I want to show you how that works today. So let's go uh, outside, hop in the Mustang Take a little ride and I'll show you how it works. Come on. Okay guys and gals, here we are. Uh, we're getting ready to hop into the Mustang. We're going to take a little ride and I'm going to show you how the Microsoft Sync system works. Okay, we are in the Mustang. We are going to make a trip to McDonald's to get a strawberry and cream pie. So, we're going to look at the Sync system. As you can see here on the dash, it says Sync by Microsoft. This small screen here is uh, your information center where all your directions will show up. Over here on the steering wheel we have a voice icon here. I'm going to press that and we will connect to the system. Sync, please say a command. Services. Connecting. Services. Which service do you want? Directions. Directions. First, say the city and state you're going to, say home or work, or say operator. <laughs> say the address you're going to, or say find a business. Find a business. Find a business. What business or type of business? McDonald's. Do you want directions to this location? 
Yes. Great. Hang on. We'll get your location. Okay, they are checking their GPS to find out where we are located, and then they're going to give us directions. Okay, that's our first direction, and we are going to follow that and see where it leads us. Go one quarter mile and turn left. It does give you advance notice of when you're going to be turning and which direction. Go two tenths of a mile and your destination McDonald's is on your left. And that's the name of that tune. We can see McDonald's right up here. The uh, readout says two tenths of a mile. And it shows a left arrow. And it says the name McDonald's. So we have arrived. And that's it. Until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay safe. <laughs>